everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday, so that means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to be doing the other side of the coasters that we did last week, and we're going to finish it off with the same colors, but we're going to manipulate the resin a little bit. Today we're going to tackle the back of the coasters we did last week. As you can see, I have them right here, but I've covered them with press and seal, and I'll have a link to that down in the description below. So I put it on the front and then cut it real, trimmed it real close to that edge where it's not coming over. And hopefully that will keep any resin from collecting underneath or on the sides. And we'll see if it works. I've not tried this before, but it seemed like a good idea. So I'm gonna mix my two ounces of resin and we're gonna use the same colors as we did last week. And I'll have all of these linked down in the description also. And I'm going to mix my two ounces of resin. Once I have the resin all mixed, I'm gonna split it into five different cups. Then I'm gonna start mixing in the colors. You don't need a lot. And you wanna mix them all in. So we'll do the same thing. We'll start just dripping this stuff across the different coasters in any which way you wanna do it. Now all I'm gonna do is manipulate these. Last time we didn't really do that. So I'm going to just take a stir stick and move stuff around. I'm gonna make sure it gets to the edges, but I'm actually gonna drag it through too. Once you have everything spread out, you want to take your lighter, go over everything, pop the bubbles, and you can manipulate a little more if you need to. Come back a couple times to pop the bubbles. Let it sit a minimum of 12 hours before you handle them. Now the only thing I am going to suggest is because we have that press and seal on there, I'm going to suggest just taking your stir stick and running it along that edge just to clean it up so we have a chance of pulling it off later. And that's really only if you have a bunch of drips on there. If you don't have any drips on there, you could skip that step altogether. It is the next morning and these have cured. Now all I need to do is peel it off so if I can find a spot where I can either rip it or get it started. Because the resin doesn't actually stick to the press and seal, which is great. And if you can find an edge somewhere where you can just rip it, it'll come right off. And then if you have anything on the edges that is a little pointy or rough, then just take a nail file and smooth it right down. So this is the side we moved around and this is the side that we just let be. And both look pretty cool. Now remember, very important thing, you need to make sure you allow the 
first side to fully cure because if you put the press and seal on it and it hasn't cured, you're going to get little press and seal dots all over them. And you wouldn't want that, so that's just a little tip. And then here's the first side and here's the second side where we moved it around. So here's the original side and here's the side that we manipulated. And here's the first side and here's the second side. I will say that press and seal worked out extremely well. So here's the back side of our coasters now or the front side and here's the original side. So you can kind of pick whichever one you like better. I hope you like the coasters. I think they turned out pretty cool. Both sides are kind of neat and you can see the different effects that you can get with the resin. And remember this is a great project to do if you are just starting or wanting to try out a little resin art but you don't want to start with a big canvas. So thank you again for watching. I will definitely see you next time. Remember life is too short not to shimmer so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye guys!